In 2012, for a class project, I started a campaign to create more role models in the world. I spent every Saturday asking people to think of themselves as a role model. That way you can inspire everyone else who comes through here today. Hi there. Hi. Hi. What's going on? I'm talking to people about role models. Do you have a role model? Uh, definitely. My high school baseball coach, he was great. What was he like? A uh, much-loved guy. He was the hard-driving type, for sure, but also the most kind-hearted man you'd ever want to meet. He made you want to work harder to live up to his expectations, you know? And are you anybody's role model? Me? No, definitely not. No, no, I'm not the role model type. Too hot-headed, you know? See, I think anybody can be the role model type. It's not about being the most awe-inspiring person or even a near-perfect person. It's just about committing to act in ways that someone else can look to follow. I'm an unemployed construction worker. Who's gonna wanna take after me? Oh, come on. You're too self-critical. He is a very warm-hearted guy. All the kids in the neighborhood love him. He is the most easygoing person when it comes to kids. What, what is this? You're siding with her? I'm just saying, maybe you should be a little league baseball coach this year. It'll help you get through the time you're not working. There you go. A little league baseball coach is a role model? Sure, you just said your high school coach was your role model. What do you say? Sure, I'll do it. That's great. Would you like to sign our pledge sheet? Me? A role model? I don't think so. Anybody can be a role model to somebody. You don't have to be some highly acclaimed leader or a well-known celebrity. What do you do? I'm a nurse. What a great job. So who could you be a role model to? Maybe your patients. But I'm not like a surgeon or a pediatrician. I just check on patients and give them medication. I help them get around but I'll bet the way you interact with them could have far-reaching effects on their lives. You look after a lot of sick people, right? Every day. And how do you react? Do you get all sad-faced around them? No, I try to always be the most positive-thinking person in the room. I feel like you can't get better if you're always feeling down. Well, that's a great thing to model helping people choose to have a positive attitude about a life-changing illness. That's very thought-provoking. So, can I count on you to keep thinking of yourself as a role model? Okay. Look, when you say role model, I think of someone who's widely respected, like Nelson Mandela. He's this soft-spoken leader who confronted injustice and got an entire nation to face up to their history and be more open-minded. That's a role model. So, he's a role model for everyone in the world. I'm just asking you to be a role model for one person, or 10, or 50. Oh, look, I, I'm not against it, but I'm a game designer. I sit in front of a screen all day. The closest I get to injustice is cyberbullying. There you go. What? Maybe you could create a game that would help stop cyberbullying, or teach kids how to treat each other better online. I don't know. Yeah. You might be on to something. I sort of like that. Sort of an online role model for gamers. But don't you actually have to meet people to be a role model? Did you ever meet Nelson Mandela? Good point. Okay, I'll do it. Great, why didn't she sign our pledge? All right. In three months, I got 387 people to commit to being a role model for someone else. Who will you be a role model for?